Hey guys, Alpha here. Uh, in this video, I want to show a uh, just a, as comprehensive as possible a uh, tutorial for installing LSPDFR, and then discuss some solutions to a lot of problems that different people have been having getting the mod to work. Uh, okay, so the first thing you want to do is download LSPDFR uh, from LSPDFR.com. Uh, when you do that, you'll get this uh, on the left. I have here uh, this RAR uh, directory that you unpack with WinRAR or whatever software you use. Uh, to open, you know, .rar files and zip files uh, and that sort of thing. And inside you'll have uh, these files here. Uh, on the right I have my GTA 5 directory. You might have it in a different place on your computer. Uh, I have it on my SSD, so that's the way it looks for me. You might have it somewhere else. I like to keep them side by side so I can just kind of compare the files over here to what I have over here so I know uh, what I have to do what with. So what you want to do is uh, click on the first file, push shift, and then click on the last file in the LSPDFR folder. And then you're going to want to copy them all over to your GTA 5 directory. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed, but basically what you want to do is just drag them over uh, and put them all in there. Uh, and then the next thing you have to do, and this is a very, very important step if you don't do this, the uh, mod's not going to work, uh, is you have to go through... Uh, and each of the files that you have that you copied over, you're gonna want to right-click on. So I'll take this one for instance. Right-click, uh, push properties, and then it's not gonna show up for me because I already did it. Uh, but you have to go through, uh, and down here in the properties window, there'll be a button that says unblock. And basically, what that's gonna do is just Windows is detecting uh, that the file might be malicious, that it's a file from somebody else's computer, that it's you know thinks it's kind of suspicious. Uh, so you want to push unblock and then Windows will unblock the file. So you want to go through and for every single one of the files that you just copied over from the LSPDFR file, I know it kinda, it's kind of annoying to do, but you have to go through and literally right click uh, on each file for, you know, let's just say, uh, I don't know, this file here, lms.common. Uh, uh, you want to get that, click it, right click, properties, and then like I said, I already did, so it's not showing up for me, but down here, the button that says unblock, you want to click that, and you need to do that for every single one of the files uh, that's in the LSPDFAR uh, folder here, uh, including everything in the folders, just every single file uh, in the folders, all of them. Uh, you have to do that procedure, basically you're going to click it, uh, right click it, and then go to properties, and then unblock. Alright, and the next thing you're going to do uh, to actually get the mod up and running, because then once we do that I'll show you how to uh, start the mod and get playing. Uh, is it's not like in GTA 4 where you just start up uh, the game as you normally would, uh, then push Alt P and go to a police station. It doesn't work like that. Uh, in with LSPDFR and GTA 5, you actually have to uh, instead of here, I'll make this one, make this full screen. Uh, you have to instead of you don't load up GTA 5, you know, like going here and loading GTA 5. You don't do that. If you want to play the mod, anytime you want to play the mod, uh, play LSPDFR. You have to launch the Rage plugin hook, which is this file uh, right here that I selected. You do not launch GTA 5. Uh, you know, if you have it in the the pin to the the taskbar, the start menu, uh, you do not want to load that GTA 5. It will not load the mod. It will not load the Rage plugin hook. Uh, so you have to go to Rage plugin hook, click that, right click, run as administrator, and you push yes, and we get running. Uh, I think it's kind of you know, I'm, I'm not sure exactly why they chose to do it this way. I guess they're kind of making their own script hook to make the mod work. Uh, but it's it's kind of more, you know, I'd say cumbersome. Not necessarily difficult, but more cumbersome a process than LSPDFR was to run. Uh, and then, so this window here that's saying that we're offline, it's just because Rockstar recently released a uh, patch, the second part of the uh, ill-gotten gains uh, content update. And as I'm sure you know, if you update your game, mods won't work until whoever made the mods updates them to work with the patch. So we're just going to ignore this update for now and go to offline mode. Uh, yeah, so yeah, and it's once you get it working, it's not that bad. Uh, but I want to discuss now some common issues uh, that I definitely had and a lot of people had and some common solutions to them. The first one is if you look at the screen here with these Rockstar logos on the screen that you see right now, uh, a common problem with uh, L LSPDFR is that you'll the game will uh, you know get stuck on a, one of the Rockstar logo screens uh, and then crash subsequently. Sometimes a window will come up with the error log uh, for Rage Hook. Sometimes it won't. Uh, the nine times out of ten, the reason you're seeing that is because basically Rage Hook isn't working with the graphics uh, situation you have on your system. And so basically to uh, to fix that, 
what you want to do here, I'll pause the game and go to my uh, home screen and show you. Uh, to fix that, what you're going to do is you want to come in uh, to your GTA 5 folder. Uh, you're going to select, oh, whoops, I want to load it again. Uh, you want to right click Rage Plugin Hook and you want to uh, create, where is it, hold on a second. Uh, create Shortcut, there you go. Uh, then you're going to come up here to the shortcut, you're going to go to Properties, uh, and then Target, in this field right here. Uh, after you see .exe, after that quote, you want to put a space, a hyphen, and then N-O, oh, whoops, sorry, N-O-D-X. Uh, you're going to push Apply, and then OK, and you're only going to do that in the event that your game is crashing on the uh, Rockstar logo screen. Uh, if it is, then you know you probably want to try this out, see if it works. Uh, just add that n the hyphen n o d x uh, to the target field to the end of the target field uh, and a shortcut for the Rage Hook plugin, uh, like I showed. And then what you want to do is just launch that shortcut, uh, run as administrator just like you normally would the regular uh, .exe file. Uh, and if that does work, then to use the mod, you just want to use that shortcut uh, from, from now on. And I think they kind of fix that problem, uh, you know, for most people. But if you're still getting it, uh, definitely give the solution a try. Uh, and so more on... Uh, uh, so another problem you might have is uh, if the game crashes at a point uh, that's after the Rockstar logo. So, you know, any other point in the game you're having problems uh, with getting the uh, Rage Hook to work. Uh, what you might want to try is uh, using a different version of the Rage Hook uh, plugin, which you can get on the Rage Hook website. Not the LSPDFR website, uh, but the Rage Hook website. The one that worked for me uh, was the one where, I'm not sure what the version number is, but if you look on their website, it's the one where in the description of what they say, or the change log, whatever you want to call it, uh, where they say that uh, it allows the command line uh, hyphen NODX, or the no direct X. Uh, to work. It's the, that's the one that allowed me to uh, get the mod working on my system. Uh, and basically what uh, NODX, or that means no direct X, what that does is it will, uh, if you uh, if you press F4, uh, you'll see this uh, little sort of command prompt type window comes up. Uh, that'll sort of disable that. Uh, well, it'll disable direct X, and that might allow the uh, mod to work on your system uh, by bypassing any problems you have with uh, with just your DirectX and your graphics configuration. But then again, I think at this point they have uh, fixed most of the problems that people were having with that sort of thing uh, with the latest release. And if you do decide to uh, use a different version of Rage Hook, make sure that you're, uh, when you install LSPDFR, you're not overwriting the uh, Rage Hook files with, um, with, uh, the, with the newer ones. Make sure you're using the version uh, that works for you. Uh, also in the later versions of LSPDFR, the uh, mod uh, will load itself up so you don't actually have to use that little menu here to load it anymore. Uh, that'll just load itself up on startup uh, and you should be good to go. Uh, other things you might want to try though is to uh, update your uh, C++ redistributables, update your DirectX, update your graphics files, uh, update your uh, .NET frameworks, make sure everything's uh, you know up to date uh, and in working order. Uh, okay, so now uh, on to how to get the, uh, how to actually play LSPDFR. You'll notice that, uh, you know, in GTA 4, as I'm sure you remember with LCPDFR, you'd have to press Alt-P uh, to sort of initiate the mod. Uh, with LS LSPDFR, uh, you don't have to do that. The mod already loads up, so you'll notice when the game started up, there's these little badge uh, icons on the map uh, with police stations where you can go to, uh, to get started. Uh, and so, yeah, so what you want to do is you want to drive to a location on the map where you see one of these badges, just walk up to it, I don't know if you want to call it a corona or a badge or a you know, waypoint, whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically, one of these badges, uh, you want to walk into it, push E. Uh, you should see this little cutscene here. I'll show you the exterior of the police station, uh, and it'll take you inside. And then much like with uh, LCPDFR, you get to customize your character uh, in your car. Okay, so now that you see the, uh, you can see here the screen, much like, you know, you probably remember from LCPDFR, you're able to customize uh, your cop player, your cop character, your, you know, whoever you're playing as, as the police. Uh, so I guess I'll just, you know, just to show you, I'll make it quick. Uh, you can change head, you know, skin color, uh, shirt, uh, you know, accessories, you know, whatever, whatever you want to have, you can change out and play play around with the stuff press select and continue by going down hitting the answer key over select and continue you'll be brought to this next screen where you're going to select your vehicle 
Uh, I think it's really cool compared to LC PDFR. There's actually, you know, like this cool garage with, you know, ambient stuff going on in the background. You know, police cars. Uh, the guy, I think on, you see on the right there behind the car, the guy drinking coffee. It's just a, you know, cool touch to have. Uh, then you kind of, you know, see this, I guess, I don't know if that's an Easter egg or what it is, but I guess if you want to patrol in a jet, you can do that. Uh, you're just going to go through, select, you know, see all the different vehicles, you know, see which one you want. Uh, I'll well, see, I guess we'll do the, uh, just make it quick for this video, we'll do the police interceptor. I'll put my siren on, uh, the extra, usually if you can see the other uh, spotlight uh, next to the side view mirror on the driver's door, you can, you know, put that on and off. Uh, I'll just select and continue and go to the outside. I don't think there's a way at this point to actually use the light, but, you know, just for decoration, you can have that on there. Uh, you'll now be brought to outside the police station. Uh, if you get out of your car, I can see that you're, you know, equipped with uh, some standard issue uh, police weapons here. Uh, you know, at this point, uh, if you want to get a partner, which I'm kind of surprised they didn't include in this version of the mod, uh, I have a video up on my channel that I put up a little while ago. Uh, that will show you how to get a partner. If that's something you want to work just like partners in LCPDFR. Okay, so check out that video uh, if you want to if you want to have a partner in the game. I'll put the link to that in the description as well. Uh, so from this point, uh, you can just drive around, uh, patrol, pull people over, uh, respond to callouts, arrest people, uh, that that sort of thing. Uh, so I guess we'll just wait for a call out. And I'll show you. Okay, so here's a call out right here. You can see in the bottom left, Grand Theft Auto and Downtown Vinewood to respond to that. I'm going to push Y on the keyboard, it'll show up on the map. I uh, put on my lights and siren. And we'll head over there. As right, so you can see, there's two suspects on the map. At this point, I'm going to want to call in some backup to help out with this. I'm going to call in an air unit uh, to follow the other suspects so I don't lose them. So we'll push B on the keyboard, this menu will come up. We'll select the kind of backup you want. Uh, make sure Pursuit is selected. It should come up automatically if you're currently responding to a pursuit. Uh, you can call in some cars if you want. Alright, so it looks like the first suspect's here, he's... Yeah, is that him? And that's pretty cool if you notice the, uh, the, the police helicopter is shining a light. I don't know if you saw that. Here's our backup right here. Uh, so he's just kind of... You know, so he's gonna take off after the one foot. Alright, now one of the other things I want to show uh, before I'm done with this video uh, real quickly, it's just how to how to arrest because the system's a little bit different than you know people are used to with LC PDFR. Uh, you don't really handcuff people; it's just kind of a little, little bit different. I'll just show you how to do that. Uh, so if you can just find somebody that's uh, up to no good. All right, so just to demonstrate this, I'm going to show you how the uh, the arrest system works. All right, so we got this guy. Uh, Smoking what I may or may not be a cigarette, so we're just gonna arrest him and get to the bottom of this. All right, so what you want to do, aim your gun at the suspect and then push E, uh, and then you'll see uh, at the bottom of the screen just kind of what phase of the arrest process you're in. Uh, after you push E initially and you see the text come up, uh, you should just really have to stand there from there and just kind of watch uh, the suspect's animation uh, as they surrender. All right, so you want to walk up behind them, you want to push E. Uh, they'll be handcuffed, sort of, rapidly. Uh, now we're gonna push E again, and the suspects stand up, will now follow you to your car. Uh, away. Uh, my car is like six blocks away, so we're just gonna cheat a little bit more, spawn in a car here. Alright, so once you're at your car, you just want to walk up to the car, uh, get in, get in the car! whatever key you use to have you get in. Uh, what should happen automatically is your guy should open the door, uh, on the rear for the suspect again, then you can get in, drive to the uh, to the jail. As far as I know, the only jail in the game is actually this one here, so you know, kind of, it's probably probably kind of stinks. Uh, like I said in the last video, if you're really high up on the northern part of the map, you have to drive all the way back to that jail. Uh, but so I marked that on the map. Now we're just gonna head to this jail over here. Uh, I'll show you what to do next. Alright, so we're uh, just arriving now at this LSPD station. Uh, so what we want to do is we're going to drive into this little uh, courtyard back here, uh, pull in a cutscene should trigger, uh, where the guy, uh, gets a bailiff or somebody will take the suspect out of the car, and then from there they are considered arrested. Alright, so that about does it for this video. Uh, there's definitely some more uh, LSPDFR features I have to show you and some new uh, interesting cool mods. 
uh, that I'll definitely be showing off in my uh, new videos to come. Uh, but thanks for watching. Like I said, if you have any problems uh, installing the mod or if you need help with something, definitely leave a comment and I'll uh, try to help you out the best I can. Thanks for watching.